Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pharmacists are here in Edmonton today to draw attention to this government's mismanagement of drug pricing and the negative effect upcoming changes will have on the viability of local pharmacies. My office in Strathmore Brooks has received many emails and questions about this matter, and I'd like to share some of what I have learned with the Assembly. In a letter from the President of the Alberta Pharmacists Association, I was informed of the devastating consequences mandatory changes to drug prices will have on local pharmacies. He wrote, the Alberta Pharmacists Association has heard from many pharmacists that are deeply concerned for their patients and for their profession. This cut is so severe and quick, it will be impossible for many community pharmacies to ensure the sustainability of their practice. Traditionally, the revenue earned through generic drugs has benefited government as they have been able to chronically underfund pharmacy services. When the cost of living increases are factored in, pharmacists are actually paid less for drug dispensing than they were in 1991. This change, coupled with the underfunded model, means pharmacists will not be able to provide the level of care that Albertans have, been, that have become accustomed to, and the health system will suffer as patient needs are offloaded to other care providers or go unmet. Pharmacists have expressed their commitment to keep prices low to benefit the consumer, but they also want government to reinvest their savings into pharmacies that have been underfunded for some time. Mr. Speaker, pharmacists are sounding the alarm and the government isn't listening. Patient care will be impacted. This government needs to get its priorities straight and do whatever it takes to keep pharmacies viable so they can deliver the care patients need. This was echoed loud and clear today by the near 300 pharmacists that gathered on our steps to ask this province to do the thing it refuses to do, listen. Let's not turn this into another attack on Alberta's frontline workers. The government should reverse course on these changes before it's too late. Honourable members, uh, I noticed that the